Hey there guys, back here with me, Quirty Afro, on my next episode of Fern Bus Coach Simulator. I do hope you guys enjoyed the first lengthy episode. Hopefully this episode won't be as lengthy as we continue our journey that we started out in Munich. We're here at Roggen, uh, Regensburg, Regensburg, and we're going all the way up to uh, Nuremberg as our last stop. Um, we've disembark some of the passengers, most of the passengers, actually all of the passengers that came from Munich were getting off here and now we're going to be collecting the remaining passengers here at Regensburg and taking them to Nuremberg. The shout outs for this video go to iCrazyKitten and DeeklinGamer75, that's again iCrazyKitten and DeeklinGamer75, their links and stuff will be down below, show them some love. Again, Please do not request a shout out, I'm not taking any currently because I'm going through my current list and when I finish that list then I'll be um, taking in shout outs again uh, for anyone that hasn't had one already. So, Fern Bus Coach Simulator again, uh, where we left off we're here at Regensburg. Uh, it started raining actually from the last uh, last point that we actually left off, uh, just as soon as the passengers got off and started walking away it actually started raining. But we have passengers actually to get on board currently so let's... Uh, Let's get off here. Uh, our, pa uh, our luggage uh, door thing is open so we can allow people on. So let's go to this woman. Uh, this person wants to travel to Cone. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> we're not, we don't, we're not going that far. <laughs> uh, who are you? You are Julian Siebert. Uh, yes, we have you and you're going to Nuremberg. That is great. Welcome on board. It's just going to be, I think, three passengers currently today. Uh, you are Mate Sorter. We have Matt Sorter, you're going to Nuremberg as well. Welcome on board. And look, there's all the passengers there. They've just all gathered up here. I, I think this is also another bug. When passengers like disembark, they just walk around randomly. Sometimes they just cross the line, like the beat, uh, like cross the road, like the Beatles, and just go wandering aimlessly, or just gather up there. Look at this rain. Look at the look at the, oh, look at the ground. I'm just gonna walk into the street. Look at this. Fantastic. Anyway, we have a we have a bus to attend to. We need to get this last guy on. Hello there. You should be Roman Daniel. Yes, welcome on board. You can get on board. Let's close up the uh, the luggage compartment. Let's close this door right now so we don't have to do it inside. Perfect. Let's get on board here ourselves and go back to this camera. Let's close that door. Very nice. Now, do I want the sat? Can I read that sat nav down there? Mm. No, I'm, I, I don't trust myself to have uh, to have that sat nav, so I'm just gonna put up the main one. I wish it could go. I think I, I don't know if you can change the op uh, opacity, the opacity of uh, this sat nav. I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's uh, let's get going. To Nuremberg we go. In this wet rain, let me turn on the wipers. AC too cold. Oh, I'll get that sorted for you in just a sec. As soon as I get to these uh, these lights, and uh, AC too cold. Let's do it like that. That I, I guess that should be fine for them. A few more degrees up. As I guess it is cold. Uh, it is raining. There we go, nicely does it. Very nice. Like in the UK, we've been having some really good weather, and then like uh, we've had a few storms. Obviously, when you have really good, like warm weather, you know, cloud. AC's too hot, really? Wow. Uh, let's get a bit lower. Let's get at 23. 23 is a good number. But in the UK, we've been having like such really nice like hot spells, and then obviously that accumulates like rainwater and whatnot and vapor, and then you get storm clouds, and then you get rain, and then you get ugh, like you get really nice kind of nice cooling after like having a really like hot day and whatnot. But then you get the humid, uh, like once once it rains and then it like goes really humid, and I really hate that. 
especially in London when it goes really humid in London it's just kind of unbearable to live in oh hello some speed humps should we look at how the uh... oh look at that look at that nice physics there I like that Oh, wait, let's get back into here. Another speed hump. There we go. All passed. Doing it all professionally. You know, I'm a, I'm a good coach driver, I feel. You know, Phil, uh, Flixbus would definitely hire me. I definitely think after watching, uh, starting watching this series that I'm doing. They'd be like, we need to hire Quirky Afro now. When will you be available? <laughs> oh. oh, we can go straight. Nice. I like seeing green lights. It's very nice. Oh, hello. Oh my god, look at that detail on the road. That is so good. I like that. It just it looks gritty. It looks grimy. It doesn't look clean. Like, that's one thing. Oh, stop. Wow, that was... That was a bit... <laughs> But I like that it looks uh, it looks gritty, it doesn't look clean, and I like that about games. That shows the graphical engine there that's just there to make it look more realistic because a lot of games like this can look really clean and plain and you know very you know synthetically clean and that just puts me off. That kind of like just doesn't make it feel real. And this, however, just oh, but this AI <laughs> Oh god, a camera. Please don't crash into me. And you crashed into me. Ah, oh, this report is not going to look good. And it's pretty much things crashing into me, not me crashing into things. That's like a huge difference. Normally it's me crashing into things. But uh, in this one it's the complete opposite. <laughs> one thing I like that you don't have to do in this, that you have to do in... Oh, I didn't check. Do I need fuel? Oh, we'll, we'll check in Nuremberg if fuel really matters. But hopefully we won't run out of fuel. That would be kind of embarrassing. I think I see there on the dashboard we have like a three quarters of a tank, so that should be fine. But I like that in your truck, obviously, you have to park up a trailer, and that is like the hardest thing for me. If you ever watch one of my streams when I'm playing Euro Truck or American Truck, like parking a trailer probably is most of the stream. So I like that in this. I don't have to bother. <laughs> it's all done for me. I'm speeding, really, but now the speed limit's now going to go up to 80, which is good. And I might put on the cruise control. Should I? I'll speed up a little bit more. And there we go. Cruise control is on again as we uh, drive out of Re uh, Regensburg. Back onto the autobahn. We're going to be heading up north to Nuremberg. Which is all good. Oh my god, this oh, just. I'm sorry if I'm gonna be just mentioning this all the time, but these this rain. I'm pro like, if I ha if I had to like only have a weather setting on like permanently, I'd probably just keep rain because this just makes it look so beautiful. I still haven't seen snow. Obviously, we're playing in August, so snow is not really viable. But I'll definitely do like a video in the future of like driving in snow and whatever, because the snow one I've seen looks pretty good, but. I'm sorry, but water, when you get water right in a game, water just makes a game look so good. Like, you know, example here, Minecraft, if you get one of those like really cool water mods for Minecraft, Minecraft just looks like insane. Like just the, the realistic waters, uh, water effects and whatnot. So I don't know. And it's really impressive seeing water in a game, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else gets that, though, because it's it's a pretty like water is a pretty hard thing to kind of simulate in the game, and you know it's uh, it's you know because look at that you're seeing real time reflections on the street there, like that's that's that that's you know that's that's how far like gaming has come. Like imagine this ten years ago, no, <laughs> like the fact that I have a side mirror here reflecting like showing me real time. Um, like real time like footage of what's like passing me by and then I also have real time reflections on the ground and it's you know keeping a good you know uh, 50 FPS that's that's pretty good you know 
Game is optimized to a point. But it's nice out here when you don't have any that you, know, you don't have much AI and you don't have traffic lights where things can start fucking up. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Should we lower down the window a little bit? Let's lower down the window a little bit. There we go. So you can hear the you can hear the tires squelching, the rain. Oh my god, cruise control is Every time when you're a truck or an American truck on the highway, cruise control on and you just you can really just relax into it. Because it's just nice when your feet aren't doing anything. But I guess people that play this with a keyboard don't really have that problem. It's basically people that play with a steering wheel are just going to be like, oh. <laughs> it's a relief to... Oh, we can turn the... Uh, we can turn the... Turn the wipers off. As it stopped raining. It's not that good that like the rain kind of evaporates instantly from the ground, which is a bit annoying. I don't think it should be like that. I think it should stay a bit wet and then just dry up naturally. But maybe this dynamic weather just like quickly changes in or something like that, I don't know. But it's going to be this uh, slightly long road, as you remember in the previous episode, like coming up to Regensburg. It is a bit of a... Uh, a trek into Regensburg because it's kind of off the autobahn and it's just this kind of like little uh, uh, a B road can I call it uh, that just kind of leads up into it and then finally I think here we're coming up is the autobahn or maybe a little bit further I'm not too sure well anyway we're all bit <laughs> we're just transporting free passengers which is kind of funny Right, taking a right here, heading back on the autobahn. Very nice. Fantastic. Yeah, a bit of steering misbehavior there. <laughs> You can hear that little kind of uh, blop, uh, like flopping sound where like I kind of run over, like uh, when I go over lines and whatnot. Oh, hello. Well, <laughs> he merged late, like really late. <laughs> Good, I didn't crash into him though. Right, 133 kilometers up to Nuremberg. Basically, I think with this series now, it's essentially just going and visiting all these cities, really, and unlocking the next bus, which is the which is the uh, the uh, slightly longer MAN Lions coach. I'm guessing they both sort of drive similar, and then obviously the longer bus is a bit more uh, tricky on the corners, I guess. But then, yeah, that's basically essentially it with this series. It's just kind of going to seeing all these different cities. Uh, then essentially whenever like mods and stuff come out for this game and um, and any kind of other release and updates and stuff I'll definitely try and cover it in this series because I definitely think as I said the potential is there in this game I just hope that they you know capitalize on the you know longevity that this game does have and I hope it gets continuously updated with you know, you know free updates some payware updates you know whatever they see fit that will kind of encourage them to keep you know producing content for this game at a reasonable you know cost and you know respect to the consumer can I I'm gonna overtake you sorry you're taking too long Ooh. oh these are rest areas because your uh, your driver does get tired so it might give us like a warning or whatever when we should actually go and rest let me put on the cruise control again all good. Love it. Cruise control is just the MVP probably of this series. <laughs> okay, that guy's merging. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the hell just happened there? I don't know if that was that guy that actually merged into me or if it was that guy that just like the AI just kind of bugged out and just disappeared but maybe was still there physically and then I kind of went into him but I didn't stop so I'm thinking it was the guy that merged into me that didn't slow down and just went into the side of me which was that my fault? I don't think so was that ba bad AI scripting? 
Yes, me think so. <laughs> but yeah, let's have a look at these fjords and stuff. What am I saying fjords? We're not in bloody Sweden. Oh, imagine Sweden in this game. <gasps> imagine the mountains. Oh my god, I'm just imagining it right now. Imagine like the snow and the mountains and the and the waterfalls. Oh my god, TML. Make Scandinavia now. I need that in my life. What is that? Is that police? That's cool. Probably police detaining some drug lords. That's that's all good. Remember, dynamic events and stuff is on. So, like, maybe slip roads or whatever might be closed down. There might be, you know, incidents and stuff like that. Speed restrictions, roadworks, whatnot. Let's uh, overtake. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? I hate those kind of weird things on motorways where, like, uh, it, like makes you turn and kind of merge weirdly like I've seen a lot of this like in um, in uh, in Scotland as well where there's like these weird dual carriageways that uh, just like make you merge really weirdly and it's 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 it's, it's odd and I don't like them let's uh, close the window get a bit of insulating noise so I can hear myself wonder if what my passengers oh you know what I could do oh, I didn't do it I didn't t I didn't put on the PA for the passengers but this is an it was an intermediate stop uh, intermediate stop so I, maybe I don't have to do it I don't know maybe I should but I don't want to press it now while I'm driving because I'm I'm in focus to be honest and uh, I think it, I think it would be rather stupid of me now going onto the dash camera and uh, oh hello we are Oh my god, why is everyone slowed down here? Jesus Christ, it could have almost crashed. Mm. What the <laughs> And what is with these what is with these brake lights? Is that like an incident that's happened up here? I'm not too sure. But what is with the brake lights? One thing again, I hope this well this game looks like it has is some issues maybe with brake lights, but Bus Simulator 2016, the the AI cars don't have any brake lights. And that is just like suicide. Like I don't know when the hell things are breaking. How am I supposed to know? Like imagine if real life everyone drove without brake lights. You know that would just crash every two seconds essentially. What is happening here? Is, why are we like? Is it like maybe merging issues or like traffic buildup or something like that? I'm not too sure. But I like it. I like it. it's not empty. It's not like just empty uh, motorways and whatnot. Ah, it's 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 a merging issue here. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's cool. That kind of slowed this down a bit. I like that. Now, can I merge back? I don't want to. I don't want to really. Oh, Nunberg's uh, coming up here on the right. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start merging. Just nicely. Because I might have to take this uh, this right if it if it wants me to. Which I think up north is Dresden, so I think yeah we are yeah we're definitely taking this one off. Nice. So we'll nicely slow down here. Keep going. I wonder if we're going into another kind of like motorway or if it's just like maybe we're going on to B road, B road or A road. Oh, I need to stay in, I need to stay in this lane. Is this traffic to my, uh, to my right? Oh, it's tight. Oh, we're going on to another motorway. Oh, very close to the rails there. Oh, I'm supposed to be... Is that 80? I thought I saw an 80 speed sign, but... We're, oh, no, yeah, now it's 80. So let me start slowing down a little bit. And another bit of merging coming up here. It's quite nice, actually, driving in the exterior view. It's not too bad. Oh hello! Oh look at this! Look at this! 
You gonna let me through now? Look at this kind of merge, like it's just why? I'm gonna try and stick. This is a bit tricky because I can't tell what's the distance to the railings. Because it's not a massively wide bus coach, but you know. Right, and back we go to the back we go to the front. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. Let's just reset the camera there. Nice. Oh, we're back up to 100, which is good. Oh, and did I see N uh, Nuremberg there for the uh, for the right? Can I merge? Oh, I really want to merge. Yeah, that is Nuremberg. I'm gonna merge. Hopefully, no one's behind me. There we go. Nicely does it. Perfect. Very nice. FPS has gone down a tad bit. Don't know why. I don't know if maybe uh, these cities now are becoming a bit more populated. And apparently, I need to take a break. <laughs> I need to find a resting stop area. Or maybe, can I rest at like a bus station? I, I'm not too sure. Right, we have 60 here coming up. And we are officially off motorway. Off the Autobahn. That's fine. Good with that. And the return of some traffic lights. There we go. And parking brake nicely does it. Only 21 kilometers left to go, but I feel so far this has gone good. I do need to take a break, which I'm hoping I can do at the bus station, or it does have to specifically be a resting point. I'm not too sure. I hope the traffic lights aren't bugged here or something like that, because nothing's, nothing's really moving. And, <laughs> and look, AI is just spawning over there, that's crazy. Oh, there we go. Your Euro 6 engine is at work. Nice. Back up to 80 kilometers per hour so I can slip it into cruise control again. Let's get into the uh, right lane. I feel safer there. There we go. I'm speeding. Really? Oh, it's still 60. Well, that's why. Stop. That was close. Parking brake, parking brake on again. How did the passengers like it, like it just quickly showed up there like a passenger comment or something like that that just flashed in the screen? How did this? How does the passengers? Uh, how do the passengers know that I need to take a break? You know, that's a bit. You know, like are they checking my heart rate or something like that? They're like, you know, quirky. Look, like you're t you're having bags under your eyes. Like you need sleep. Like. I will take a break when I need to take a break, you know. <laughs> I'm hoping, I think one of the things as well is, uh, that's going to be implemented is the, like, uh, voice, uh, voices of passengers. So, like, passengers will, like, comment and stuff like that, like, say, in OMSI 2 and in Bus Simulator 2016. Because right now it's just, like, some text that just comes onto the screen every now and again. And, oh, another petrol station. I need to actually have a look at the petrol once we uh, do stop at the bus station. I'm curious to see how much petrol we've actually used uh, since we started in Munich. Because I'm guessing, like, say, if you build a, if you did a huge route, like, say, like, an idea would be to do the an orbital route around Germany uh, that would stop at every like city on the like outline of Germany, 
which I think would be really cool like, to do as like a little like mini series within this bigger series. Uh, but that would take some time. That won't. What, that wouldn't be. Are you gonna? Okay, thank you. That wouldn't. That would take quite some time. That's going around all of Germany in a circle. I know you guys would love to see me do like an orbital trek around. Now what's happening here? Yes, you can go, Citroen, you Citroen band. Come on. Oh, are you going to let me go? Oh, thank you. Much obliged. Thank you for not crashing into me. <laughs> well, this city looks very nice. But, like, German cities just look very elegant and nice and just clean and, you know, very German. How are our free passengers doing? Could you make a rest? Well, we're very close to the last stop, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, so maybe they want a rest as well. That's why as well. So it's 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 kind of like a two-way thing. It's like I need rest as well, but it's also passengers may want to rest on on one night. But we have a toilet on board. That's the thing. But maybe they oh. Maybe they want to rest as well. They maybe they just want to go for like a walk or something like that. Uh, a service station, which is very reasonable as well. But this looks like a very nice city, and I do believe we're actually coming up here into the station. Yes, there we go. Well, we're going to have a rest now because we're here. <laughs> right. Perfect. What? We're too... Well, <laughs> this thing I saw like another kind of beta videos of like passengers complaining it's too early. Like, how can you complain of being too early? That's fantastic if we're, to, if we're there early. There we go. The passengers will now fade into appearance there. I will now... Actually, you know what we could do? We can actually turn off the engine. Uh, there we go. So it just doesn't waste fuel, you know. We're, we're an eco company, Flixbus. Uh, and then, let's get up. Let's... Uh... Oh, I like all the disengaging sounds. Let's open up the uh, luggage compartment. Even though there's still some luggage there left. Look at that. There's still some, there's like a suitcase left. Like, what the hell? Oh, hello. Wait, can I get run over? Oh, no. I'm, I'm scripted in so... Oh, so, like... Oh, that's cool. Let's see if I was to open these two now. Yeah, someone's left their suitcase. This is a, like a security breach. <laughs> anyway, let me close these two. Very nice. Anyway, so we've made it up to number uh, Nuremberg. Uh, in the next episode, I'm probably gonna probably find, uh, probably make a new route or something like that. Because this is obviously like a route that I've made. It's uh, oh. How, oh, can I, so that's all now checked in and stuff, so now do I go log out, and will it give me my statistics, yes it will, so we did 13 out of 13, that's good, tickets sold, we sold free, is that bad, I didn't get anything for that, I don't know why, checked in, in uh, slash sold invalid tickets, didn't do that, stops completed, we did everything, Contact with Central. Contact with Central? Do I have to be in contact with them? Oh, that's something I don't know. I have to maybe look that up. They have to like contact the Central like Flixbus headquarters or something like that. I'm not too sure. Maybe tell me in the comments. I don't. I, like it didn't tell me anything about doing that, so I don't know. Refueling, we didn't really have to. Ran out of fuel. Uh, we didn't. Uh, that's good. Servicing. Air conditioning was at 96%. <laughs> there was just that little blip there where we were like changing, uh, changing the temperature. Uh, traffic rules, accidents minus six. Well, we had three accidents, and those three three accidents were people like crashing into us. So 
well, you know, that's the AI's bug there. But everything else looks pretty good. Properties damaged, plus five. Is that is that good or bad? Or pedestrians injured, plus five. Does that mean that I didn't and I get plus five points for not doing that? Oh, yeah, so yeah, zero, I guess, yeah. Okay, that's fine. And driving behavior, which... Safety distance broken. <laughs> and uh, curbstones hit. We didn't hit any curbstone, that's good. And steering misbehavior, which is a bit buggy, but um, okay, I'll understand that. So we have 604 XP for that, which is pretty damn good. I'm, I'm content with that. And I've gained a level, level 2. And what do I get for this? I get a new waypoint or something? A new ticketing thing and obviously the new bus and then that's it so level two is pretty much all you need to do guys get to level two and then uh, uh <laughs> that's it <laughs> you've unlocked everything <laughs> but obviously you have to go to each city to like unlock them like uh, you know just visually seeing them like you do in euro truck when you discover places or whatnot but next time we'll create a new route we might start from the north or something, or maybe continue from where we are. You know, mix it up. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed my second episode of Fan Bus Coach Simulator. I am enjoying it. Tell me if you are. Uh, tell me your opinions and stuff down below. I'd like to hear them. Uh, I'll respond to them if, if they're responsible. Uh, the shout go to, in this video again to I Crazy Kitten and Declan Gamer 75. That's again I Crazy Kitten and Declan Gamer 75. Their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'm really looking forward to just getting deep into this uh, into this series because I'm really like I am like I'm enjoying this game. I think it's, it's it has its issues, but I think you know I'm. I think the enjoyment is overcoming the issues now. Like, you know, there's some games where issues overcome the happiness and the enjoyment of playing it. But I feel so far that I'm enjoying it. I like it. It's, it's good. It's, you know, coaches. I like coaches <laughs> and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm content. I, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't have bought the game if I was just buying it for myself right now. I'd wait a bit, see what else they add and see how it, you know, looks like in a month time when they've patched things and that. But... I'm content, you know, if you desperately want to play it, then get it, because I, I think it's good. You have quite a lot of content in terms of, like, mappage, but not in terms of, like, what you can drive. But, you know, I like it. You know, the graphics are lovely. And the gameplay's good when it works. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you for another episode or in another video. Take care and have a lovely day. Bye. We ain't never given up cause we ain't born for that Gotta catch a fast to do, fast to do The ship is cruising